Hi, you're watching Mental Math Secrets, your secret weapon for success. And I have a question for you. Can you multiply 42 times 11 in your head? Keep watching to find out how. My name is Jason Gibson with MathTutorDVD.com. Multiplying by 11s is quite easy. So anytime you're multiplying a double digit number times 11, do the following thing. Take the two digits of the other number that you're multiplying by, so in this case 42, and we're going to add these numbers together. The 4 and the 2 is going to give us 6. So these two numbers added together give us 6, and then all we do is sandwich this 6 in between the 4 and the 2 from our number and this is the answer and you can come up with that almost immediately. Now continuing our practice, what if we had 31 times 11? 31 times 11. So what we do is the same thing before. We take these two numbers, we add them together. 3 plus 1 is going to give us 4 and then we take the number that we found and we sandwich it in between there. So what we're going to get is 3 from here, sandwich the 4 in that we just got and then put a 1 at the end, 341. And that's the answer. And you can certainly do this in your head. Now what if we had uh, 63 times 11? So again, this is going to give you 9. 6 plus 3 is 9, so you just sandwich it in between there. So you're going to get 6, 9, 3. And that's the answer. You add these two together, that gives you the 9. You sandwich it in between your digits. What if you had 72 times 11? 11. 7 plus 2 again is 9. So we take the first digit here, we put the 9 that we get from adding these together in the middle, and then we keep our last digit 2, 792. Now what if we have a different number like 38 times 11? So we proceed the same way originally, initially. 3 plus 8 uh, is going to give us 11. 3 plus 8 is 11. And so let's go ahead and just try to see what would happen if we do that the same way. We'll take a 3, we'll sandwich in our 11 right here, and we'll sandwich our 11 in between the 3 and the 8. Well obviously this number is too big. There's no way that 38 times 11 is going to be over 3,000. So this is this is wrong. But we're on the right track. What we end up doing is we keep the second digit and this first digit here, let me rewrite it, 3118. What you're doing in your head is this, you know there's too many digits here, so you sort of take these two digits here and you add them together. It's, it's sort of like carrying the 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4, 1, 8, and that is the answer. And you can also think about that if you want to just think mentally about what you're doing. When you add these together, uh, you're getting 11. So you go ahead and write it with the second digit, 3, 1, 8, and you're carrying this one over to the next column, so you're going to get 4, 1, 8. And that's just a different way to think about it. Now, what if you had 88 times 11? Well, when you add these together, 8 plus 8 is 16. So you would think that if you're following the same technique, you would put the 8, 1, 6, 8. But that's too many digits. When you have two digits in the middle like that, that's too, too big. So all you do is you take the first two and you add them together. 8 plus 1 is 9. You keep the 68, 968, and that's the answer. What if you had 49 times 11? Well, 4 plus 9 is 13. And if you were doing it the same way, then you would have 4, 1, 3, 9. But that's too many digits, so you just add the 4 plus the 1, giving you 5, 39. 539. Now you might be wondering, can I do the same technique for larger numbers? Let's look at 127 times 11. It would take you quite a long time to, to multiply this by hand or the uh, traditional way. Let's see what we get. Well, we obviously have three digits. You don't add them all together. What you do first is you add these two together, the first two digits, right? So 2 plus 1 gives me 3. And then you separately add the second two digits. 2 plus 7 gives you 9. And then you sandwich these digits between the first and the last digit. So what you're going to get is 1 from the front, 3, 9, 7. So you add these two to get 3, you add these two to get 9, you sandwich 3 and 9 in between the, last, the first and last digit of your problem. Okay, now what if you have 342 times 11? You have the same thing. We'll add the first two guys. 3 plus 4 is going to give me 7. 4 plus 2 is going to give me 6. 
And so to find the answer, I sandwich these guys between the first and the last digit, three, seven, six, two. And this would take you quite a long time to do by hand. Okay, now we're going to have a quick drill to practice what we have learned. If we're going a little bit too fast, don't, don't hesitate to pause the video and work it out either on paper or in your head. This type of thing just takes practice like anything else you have to practice it. So you work these, get a sheet of paper, grab a calculator, practice, practice. Before you know it, you'll be doing this in your head in your sleep. First problem, let's say we have 17 times 11. What would that equal? 17 times 11. Okay, so the answer to that would be 187. Because 1 plus 7 gives us 8, we sandwich that in between the 1 and the 7. What about 25 times 11? What would that equal? Your time starts now. All right, 2 plus 5 is 7, so we just sandwich that between the 2 and the 5, 275. Problem number 3. What about 39 times 11? Your time starts now. All right, now this problem is a little bit weird because we have the three and the nine. We add them together and we get 12. So we have 12, we have too many digits to wedge in between here. So we have 12, we're gonna end up carrying that leading one. Three plus that leading one is gonna give me four and then the 2 from the 12, and then the 9, just like we learned, 429, because we can't put 12 in between here. So we try to do it. We end up adding the 1 with the 3, giving us 4. 4, 2 from the 12, 9, 429. What about 69 times 11? Your time starts now. Okay, so 6 plus 9 is 15. So 15, we're, we can't put 15, we can't put two digits in here. So we're going to end up adding that leading 1 with 6 to give us 7. The 5 from the 15 stays there, and then the 9, 759. So again, 6 plus 9 is 15, the 5 stays in the middle. The 1 gets added with this to give us 7, 759, 759. What about, bigger number, 534 times 11. 534 times 11. Your time starts now. All right, now we have a three digit number. So the first thing we do is 5 plus 3 is going to give us the 8, and 3 plus 4 is going to give us the 7. And nothing is too big to wedge in there like that. And no one have any two digit answers. So we keep the leading digit 5. 5 plus 3 gives us the 8, 3 plus 4 gives us the 7, and we keep the last digit, which is a 4. 5, 8, 7, 4. 5 plus 3 gives us the 8, 3 plus 4 gives us the 7. We sandwich it all between 5 and 4. Final problem, what if we have 815 times 11? Your time starts now. Okay, and to do this one, we add the first two digits that gives us 9. So we're going to keep the 8 in the front. 8 plus 1 gives us 9. We add the last two. 1 plus 5 gives us the 6. And then we keep the last digit of 5. And that is the final answer, 8965. So that concludes this lesson on how to multiply by 11s. It's a really useful uh, thing to know. It's very good for you to you know, know and use on your exams and your test. Follow these tips that you've learned in today's lesson and also in the future lessons that follow to get an edge in school, workplace, and an edge in life. Remember to subscribe to Mental Math Secrets and iTunes and have a great day.